Hello and welcome to the Rugged Rock Hound. Today I am with a good friend right here. Woo! Who's this right here? This is Trevor from Utah Rocks. Hey guys. Of course, go well, always go check out his channel. We are heading out past Fontenelle Reservoir. We're gonna hit Highway, is that 311? Something like that. And we're gonna head out that way. We're going to the Blue Forest Petrified Wood. Okay, we made it out here. Here we are at the location. What is this location again? It's Blue Forest. Blue Forest, petrified wood. Right. All right, excited. I've never been out here. We're hoping to have a good day out here. As you can see, we've got some clouds coming up on us. It might rain on us. That's fine, as long as it doesn't downpour. Right. If it does, then we gotta get out of here because it'll turn everything to clay and the roads will be bad. But great day. I love the overcast. Temperatures perfect for rock hunting, so I'm really excited to get out there. Already been looking on the ground. There's a little bit of petrified wood right there for you. Not very pretty, but he's telling me there's tons of wood out here everywhere. We're trying to find the good looking wood, not right. this ugly wood, but it's apparently everywhere. I saw that immediately, so. <laughs> and you can see where people have dug pits everywhere. Got my stuff, got a bucket, some water and a spray bottle some digging tools, and he is already way out there walking around. So I'm gonna have to catch up to him. We're out here looking around. So as you can see, there's this ash layer, very colorful, almost like a Wonderstone type thing, which it commonly happens with ash when you get hot waters going through them. So this ash layer is where the pieces of wood are. And as you can see, it has been really dug in this area. So I think the goal for us is to find a spot where there's been a little less digging and see if we can find some of that blue wood. You can definitely see there's lots of little chips of wood everywhere. So there's a little bit of the wood. Just little chips of it all over the place. I don't know how well you can see that, but yeah, there's little chips of the wood. You do kind of see them all over. Bigger piece. Yeah, I think this stuff will be very pretty. Definitely want to get a bigger piece of this. All right, so give us your two cents on this. <laughs> All right, so this is a spot where you can see somebody's been doing a lot of digging. And this right here is some of the casts that you'll find around the wood. Um, I'm not seeing any actual wood here though. So I'm wondering if you, we might want to find a different spot. Found this piece over that way. Okay, yeah, nice. Just so, so this is the cast that you'll see around the wood. You'll have like layers <laughs> and layers of moss or whatever that is that goes around the wood. And then in the middle is where you'll actually have the wood itself. That's interesting. So this, this is an environment that was very wet. Right. The moss to grow around if that's what it is and then of course this this wonderstone looking stuff is the volcanic ash layer that buried it allowing it to be preserved okay. and then here's some some of the blue chalcedony stuff so we want to get that blue chalcedony or agate or whatever people want to call it <laughs> in with the wood is that just like a vein of it then that's probably getting to the wood yeah so here's some more so like you can see how shards of it. That's pretty. Yeah. That is quite pretty. Look at that. Yeah. Neat. All right, so Utah Rocks told me to dig down several feet to get down to where the layer's supposed to be. I think I'm down there now, so we'll start filming in case I hit anything. All right, I had to dig out more dirt to kind of get down there better. Got a big rock right here. Gotta move. 
I don't know if it's wood. It probably isn't, but I don't know. But I did find a few little pieces that came out kind of right about this level right here. Uh, I got this piece right here. So just kind of the rind of it. And again, kind of the rind of a piece of wood. You can see this nice Batriotal Chalcedony right here. All right, got a few pieces. Let's keep going. With the rain coming, of course it's windy too, but hopefully you can hear me. But with the rain coming, it should expose things on the surface. I know that in a place like this, most things on the surface will have already been picked. But with the rain, it might help a little bit. Walking a little bit. Uh, there's our vehicle over there. I was digging over there. I wanted to kind of get away from where most of the digs were. And on this, looks like a, a rim piece of it, or it could be just a vein. I see a little thing there, a little piece of wood. Something right there. I'm not sure if that's, oh yeah, that is the wood. Oh, that's pretty nice too. I'll keep that one. Okay, I found something really cool. It's the branch, look at that. That's where the branch forks. That is really cool. That's cool. Right there, I already picked it up. It's the edge. That looks cool. I'll take that one. There's a rind right there. These long, thin shards a little bit, huh? It's actually pretty cool looking. Because they're all long and thin. I was just over getting my stuff, my digging tools, from where I was digging way over there. And I ran into Utah Rocks on the way and I told him about a spot that I had started finding these nice bigger pieces like this. Coming out right here on this side of the bush and over there. And he confirmed what I thought. This would be a good spot to dig and see if we couldn't find some bigger pieces. So I'm gonna, so I grabbed all my stuff, brought it back and we're gonna start digging and see what we can find. We're down here and we're gonna start digging through this. I found a few interesting looking things. Let's see if I can spray them off and get a, an idea if they're anything or not. You can see a little bit of agate poking through there. This might be something. much there. Looks a little bit right there. Hard to tell. Okay. I don't really know. We'll keep digging down in here for a bit. Now that has got to be some wood. Yep, that's definitely some wood. Okay, I think we're getting into it. Oh, that's wood. It's definitely wood. Oh. Hey, that's a piece of the actual limb. There we go. That's what I want to see. I was going over this way, not getting a whole lot. Came back this way right here and just pulled out this thing. It's definitely wood. Pull out this one, that looks good. It's kind of the outer edge of it again. Right here. Oh yeah, this one too. See that there? I kept digging that way and I got a lot better. So we got this nice big piece right here. You can see a nice round piece of wood going through that. And let's take a look at this thing. 
That is definitely a branch going right through there. Look at that. And I think that's a piece too right there, but I'll have to clean them off a little better. But yeah, those two are exciting. And let's keep digging that way. That looks like a little one right there. That might be a piece. There's a piece right there. Yeah, that's a piece right there. Oh, there we go. Now we're back in it. That's a piece. There's a piece right there. There's another piece. This is the uh, area I dug. As you can see, as I dug it, I kept just throwing the dirt back where it already dug. Didn't have to dig, dig very deep. We got some rain coming. I've been sitting here and it's been raining a bit. Um, it looks like we might have heavier rain coming. I'll go see what Utah Rocks wants to do since it's his vehicle and these roads can get pretty darn slick out here when it gets really muddy. Okay, made it back to the vehicle with all my stuff. Came out here to see how he did in his spot. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. So I found, I don't know if this is a root or what, but I'm gonna see how it goes through here. I'm trying to get home and clean this up. That looks cool. Yeah, I think that is a root. And then I think these are all roots probably, but you can see this one here. It's kind of falling apart, but that looks nice though. And then some of these, a lot of, that looks pretty. There's a lot of a lot of roots today. And then is this like a larger piece? So that's, <laughs> that's, that's the, base the one of your... that I thought was a log. So I looked at this and I was like, that is a log. <laughs> but it was actually the end of the cast. I was like, ah. uh, somebody else already came and got the log. Somebody already got the log. I was like, so you, Darn you, you got the roots. I got the roots. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did pretty well still. Those are really yeah, nice looking. Some, oh, that's nice. the roots. Clean up this side. I would have to say you did better than I did today. All right, Utah All right. Rocks, what'd you find? Well, so you had a good idea to just walk around and see what we can find since it's wet out here. And I just walked by this hole and looked down and there's a piece of petrified wood right there. Look at there. that, that's a nice one too. Yeah. Look at that find. All, All right, pull it out. It's not too bad. Yeah, that's a keeper. <laughs> All right. You found that one in the hole and I came up here just looking on the surface. And look at that, found a nice little piece there. Just sitting right there. May have found something on the surface right here. Let's dig it out. Didn't have my tools, I think so. <laughs> Use some rocks. Oh, it's bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, it's just a little branch on the edge. Well, decent branch on the edge. This area is proving to be pretty good. We've already picked up a few other pieces and here's another branch going through the rug. Looks like he's hit something So I here. just got into a cast and some roots. You got a little bit right there. Yeah, so we'll keep digging these out. But once you hit the cast, once you start hitting the hard stuff, that's when you know you're in a good spot. Just keep going until you get to where it is. And then you just keep following the hard cast. Yeah, that looks like a piece yeah. right there. Yeah, so keep digging this out. All right, you get that out and I'll go get my stuff. What did you find while I was gone? <laughs> so, still digging it out. Um, and I think I'm still getting into it. Like, I think this is a cast right here. Got a few looking I mean, good. You got some stuff right there. A few good I looking things here. Well, I'm gonna go find my own spot to dig and we'll come back right. later. So I was around picking up a few pieces. Came back here and he's got a little bit of a log going there that he's been pulling some pieces out. Yeah. Alright, I had a nice walk and while I was away, what did you find? I found this. That's a nice piece. 
it looks like it might have. I don't know, that's interesting. That's far. Well, this is the main trunk. This would be the bar up here. So, there could be things growing through it. Yeah, like I mean, uh, uh, insects burrowing through it. Nice. Found that one sitting on the surface. Nice branch going through that rock. Oh, yeah. So, I am pretty ready to go. <laughs> okay. There you are. Looks like there's a limb going through the middle of that. Of it. I don't know what that is. Alright, now that we've got a good one, let me take a close look at that. Well, I can tell you it's not sap. Yeah? Because sap doesn't break like that. Is it calcite? I think it's calcite. It has, yep, there we go. That is absolutely calcite. We're back at the vehicle. The sun is shining, the rain has passed, and we're getting out of here. We enjoyed the rain. It was nice and cool. The temperature was perfect for us. Right. And overall, found a good haul. There's my bucket. There's his bucket plus those right there. And that's a really nice one. So we both did well. I like this place. I will definitely be coming back here sometime. All right. Okay, I am back home from going rock hounding with Utah Rocks out to the Blue Forest Formation in Wyoming. It was a heck of a lot of fun. And I got everything cleaned off, so let's go ahead and take a gander at all this stuff. Oh, I was gonna spray it off to make it a little easier. Here we go. Look at all of this. Sorry, get it all sprayed. Okay. So I like this piece a lot. Beautiful. A lot of these, it's like a, a, a branch or sometimes logs that are encased in this right here, which seems to be a mixture of the unit itself, which is, you know, ash and clay with calcite. So the yellow I've noticed in these ones like this is yellow calcite filling in empty spaces after the quartz came in and filled in like right here you got this nice bubbly or botryoidal chalcedony and these branches are hard to see the beauty of them without them getting cut and polished so that is something that'll be down the road when i can do that um but yeah this outer stuff because it's a lot of calcite I am going to take a lot of these pieces and try dissolving some of that in calcite, sorry, in muriatic acid, but i got to be careful not to do any that have the yellow calcite because I don't want to lose that. Ah, uh, this piece was really nice, really cool, lots of good pieces. But yeah, the problem is, is you just can't quite see everything because of that that thin layer of white calcite that's all over it. So I do want to try and get that out of there. This is cool. Look at that yellow calcite there. Some more yellow calcite in there. This is really beautiful stuff. I definitely want to get back out here. Ah, I loved this one. Got a nice little branch right here where it forked. I like that one a lot. Yeah, just a lot of cool stuff. And of course, the pride and joy. Look at that thing. <laughs> and I didn't find that. I did not find that. This, this was gifted to me by Utah Rocks. So I wanna give a huge shout out to Utah Rocks for giving me such a nice piece. This is a piece he found on a previous venture and I can't believe he gave it to me. It's amazing. Oh yeah, look here on the back. Look at that yellow calcite right there. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. And you just, you really can't see it when it gets cut and polished. Oh, it's beautiful. So go check out his channel. He's got some of these cut and polished so you can really see what it looks like. Go give it a check out. Eventually though, I will get it cut and polished. So once again, huge thank you to Utah Rocks for giving me such an awesome piece. Thank you so much. We are definitely going to be going out there again as well as other places. So stay tuned. We're going to 
We're going to head out to some more places and see what else we can find. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. And remember, there's treasure everywhere.